hopefully we'll be one of the first orders of business tonight at General Assembly. Um, it's basically it's where we're, we're at, good. and I'm, I'm relying on seeing you know, what you told me before, and I understand that if we apply for a permit, we'll be able to have tents and, and uh, Well, I think there's certainly uh, a dialogue about how that occurs and what that would look like specifically that we would need to have. Uh, that would be termed as something of a, a political encampment. We'd have to have clear health and safety rules and things of that sort that we need to, need to dialogue about and, and, and figure out. Um, but there's certainly, uh, we certainly do uh, issue 10 permits, permits for structures on the Capitol campus. It's fairly routine, especially multi-day ones. And so it's not something that's out of the range of the way on the planet of the universe or anything like that. It's just, it's a very simple process, yeah. actually. So that's, yeah, we're on page on that still, so that's good. So I'm, I'm, I'm hoping... I'll let you know you're dealing with a bunch of people where health and safety is... Top priority. <laughs> yeah, that's, what's good. that's why we're here. That's I think, why, you know, everyone's yeah. health and safety. That's yeah. why why we're all here. Yeah, and I think it's, so, it's fantastic uh, so far, and I'd like to... I'd like to just to stay kind of as the status quo as it is right now before anything new goes up or be, is erected until we can have further discussion and your group can make decisions and, and know what all the all the ramifications are and the discussion needs to occur uh, for anything else to erect. I really, you know, I've already had discussions about this first day tent and how valuable that is for the entire group and that I think is a really a safety uh, measure and I think that's something that should stay uh, for you guys is stay here even without a permit for now. I think that's a reasonable kind of yeah. thing that sounds good. You know, but I, I, well, that one, that one is a little bit different. That one's not necessarily as vital as the Foos first aid tent. So, I mean, right now, I think until, you know, until the park closes, it, it's uh, later on today, which it does, it's not going to close, obviously, if you guys are here, uh, because you guys can stay here. That's fine with me. It's fine with us. It's fine with everybody. Um, but really, the tents are what are the real issue, because without the permit, uh, the tents become the, the problem. So... The, well, the food someone was starving, then the food tent would be kind of a, a, a health issue as well, you know. Absolutely. Yeah, well, that's that's true, and that's something that I think that um, further discussion can probably occur a lot. But right now, until yeah. dusk arrives and you guys, after you guys uh, have your meeting, uh, if this is all the status quo, that it'd be nice to keep it this way. I don't think anything else in right here that it might become um, a different situation, such as more tents and things like that. Until after you have a good, healthy discussion amongst yourselves, we're going to so, have a good, healthy discussion and I'm just trying to taking all my little notes so that I can at least when it's my turn to talk uh, bring concerns and bring I'm trying to make sure that I bring all the information that you're giving that you're uh, part and, and just and I'm just joking right now to preface that status quo <laughs> keep using that term because it ain't what we're hey, about I won't here. use you're right I won't I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm kidding you know, I was no, hoping good. to make you laugh it's right? good I like I like to laugh but I think okay. that I, I just I, I'd be concerned if there are more structures that begin to be erected yes. and the group hasn't had time to consider uh, what what could be possible the ramifications from that I think you need to really think about that right now I'm saying you know what you have now out here this is, whatever you want to call it let's just leave it there for now that I tell yeah, I'm looking around. I don't see any other structures at this time being Good. erected, so I don't think at this point, until we have our General Assembly tonight, I don't think we have to worry about that. Well, I'm saying canopies, tents, uh, particularly uh, camping tents are, are a huge problem. Uh, but any really, the definition you have to have a, you have a structure on campus uh, of any type really, and there's a permit that's required for that type of activity. Uh, it's very easily filled out online. There's a two day waiting period for it. It's a very easy process. I'm one of the administrators who actually receives that process. We recently, I don't know if many of you saw it or not, but over in Heritage Park, I issued a permit for a five day activity over there where they had, they had structures out there for multiple days. The longest we can issue a permit is for 14 days at a time uh, per sponsor. Um, so you can have a structure out here in this park if you want to, as long as you just follow some very basic guidelines. Because we want to assist you. Yeah, we, we want to assist you. After 14 days, yes. You do another well, you, it would have to be a separate sponsor uh, I'm, and things of that sort. So it can't be the same exact person. I'm, and I'm more than happy to hand my card out to whoever would so like it. I'd... In absence of us having a permit, if if tents and other structures were to go up, what would a likely response be? Well, I can I can tell you, and, and this is Sergeant Kevin Bell. He's, he's going to be on in charge tonight for state control. Um, that like the first time. Right now, there, there's no camping allowed in the park. I mean, that, that's the no. Rule. That, that's I'm sure that on the sign. There's no camping around. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, okay. okay. But, but so if the, if there were cabin, hypothetically, what what could we expect as a response? Like, would fines or an arrest or like what? I guess there's what what type of risk? Or is would there? you remove tents? Yeah. Physically, if people were unwilling to take their own well, tents down. You know, Everybody wants to do this. Yeah. You know, and if, for the lack of a better term, you guys take care of each other. Yes. You know, that would be great. That's what we're doing. We're here for safety. You know, um, we thank you for that. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we actually, we encourage you guys to be able to use your, your right to you know, do a sit in or, or be here. Peaceably because, assemble. You know, absolutely. It's just because that we're, this, is, this is the yeah. people's park. So that's why Tony and I are here. We want to work with you. This guys. is the people's park. You heard him. Yeah. <laughs> we want to work with you guys so that you guys, for a lack of a better term, you may not like, but kind of police your own, you know? Because we don't, we don't want to see the cabins go. We really don't. But so we just want to, we just want to work with you guys. Did Tony just kind of share the, share the rules and the law with that? Okay. So bottom line, just, just look out for each other. I, what what I'm saying. saying? I think that all everybody here, no one here wants to see uh, anything, uh, you know, any, any any type of action that would be ungood for anybody. I think that that's the that's the thing we don't want. We don't want there to be any type of police action. We don't want any, anything like that to occur. I'm sure that we all want a reasonable solution to you guys being here and expressing your full rights to free speech. Um, and I think that's that's really important for all of us. So you know, we express it if we're asking permission to stay. Well, that's, I mean, it'd be, it'd be great. I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to, uh, there's, a, there's a written form to fill out for actual formal, saying, like, formal what permission. What do we need permission to occupy? But so, well, you need for your structures. I mean, you, you can stay here all night all you want to. You can stay here for the next 10 days without a shelter. But, but so as long as you want. Is it, is it working days? Monday no, there's no restrictions. No if you don't restrictions, have a permit, days. if you don't have a permit, you don't have any structures out, then you can stay here for whatever it is you're going to The question I wanted to ask is, I thought you said 14 days to me. Is that correct? That's when you that's when you fill fill right. out a form. Right. The next question is, is at, at day 12 should we fill out another one for the next 14 days? Absolutely. With a new sponsor. It's online. Yeah. With a new yeah. sponsor. Separate sponsor. Yeah. Separate yes. sponsor. This yeah. all needs to be talked about at the general okay. assembly tonight, and I we have a lot of information from Tony. Your card, Tony. Your card. And uh, thanks, Tony. Sounds real workable. Well, I'd, I'd love to make it yeah. real workable, and Sounds I think like it can be, and I'm, I'm happy to give out my cards, too, for anybody who wants further information. Actually, what we have going on right now is unfortunately these uh, these times the business owner is unable to keep his business open so he mm -hmm. came in today and let his employees know that he is no longer going to be able to employ them and and they are upset and they're and they're demonstrating that right now and that's okay. where we're at at this point okay so these protesters are actually business uh, they were the employees, employees. okay 